Hey, how's it going guys? Reed here and welcome to Reed Reborn. Hope you guys are having a brilliant day. In today's video, I'm coming at you with a gold making guide at the current end game, which is at level 25. This is a sort of method I found on my own whilst um, just randomly doing this. I don't really know why I was doing this, but I found it to be actually a really effective method of getting gold, um, tempering stones and stuff like that to upgrade your end game gear. So what it actually is, is basically you run lava like caves on heroic mode, um, but solo. So obviously you do need to be a level 25, not necessarily a, a well geared one, um, but a level 25 at least. So you've got enough health, you've got enough damage to take down the mobs and bosses um, in heroic mode uh, solo. Um, you might have to pop a potion every now and again for the bosses, um, but overall it's really not too difficult. Uh, a run takes about 10 minutes, 10-15 um, minutes max. Um, and for each run you get about a gold from um, sort of mob drops from actual gold and obviously you get all of the loot so all of the elite and all of the heroic items which can be sold on the auction house for even more money or you can um, either speak to the uh, sort of general merchant outside um, of lava like caves as you can see on the left of the screen Penelope um, and you can uh, either sell all of or use the money that you've got from the dungeon to buy some extractors um, to extract the gear that you got from lava like cave all the heroic gear and that can give you tempering stones from level I have found all the gear that I've got from tempering stones from level 60 to level 85 so it's proved to be a really effective method to get tempering stones to upgrade your end game gear your frozen gear um, to sort of your plus tens um, and anything further um, so yeah it's really good to get that end game gear um, sort of up um, and boost it up so obviously you can do the raid um, and you can prepare for the patch in mid July to get yourself up to 35 and um, that should sort you out and then obviously gold um, if you're gonna if you're not gonna extract the gear for tempering stones um, obviously you get about one gold from the actual run um, and then obviously if you sell that gear on the auction house you're gonna look at about maybe a couple more gold um, if you sell two, two, three more gold, if you sell all of that gear successfully on the auction house, because you get probably like five plus, five to like 10, 12 pieces of heroic gear from the actual dungeon. So it's really neat that you get loads of heroic gear that you can sell, um, which gives you even more money. And yeah, if you're not looking to boost up your gear, obviously you can spend um, that money if you're saving up for crafting, saving up for like um, a mount mark or something. Literally anything um, that you want to save your money to spend um, in the game. This is a really effective way. Um, so I've literally, I've chatted enough. Um, I'm literally going to just blast through a run um, and sort of show you how much money um, you can earn and what gear you can look at, uh, what gear you can look at getting from the actual dungeon. And real quick, just before I go in, one thing I forgot to mention. Even if you don't have, or even if this guy doesn't have the quest marker above his head, Van Owen Rabini, um, still speak to him because he still has that repeatable heroic quest where you can get yourself a lava light coin. And obviously, if you head over to the coin shop, you can see that um, boots, armor, gloves, and shoulders are all one coin each. So that's going to give you another piece of heroic gear that you can break down or sell. Okay guys, so here is my run on times 50 speed. As you can see, I'm absolutely cruising through it, making sure I'm killing everything, getting as much money and loot as possible. Um, and then I'm just sort of killing everything in this zone and then getting to the final boss and taking all that sweet loot. So guys, that was my run of, uh, that was a really quick run. As you just saw, I sped that up so fast. Um, but that, that just proves that I can do it solo um, and that you can do it solo as well. My gear is nothing special. As you can see, I don't even have any frost gear. Um, it's just like stuff that you got from the main uh, the main quest. Look, I've got a um, lava light heroic chest on now and I'm 25. So my gear really isn't nothing special. But I wrote down how long it took me, how many heroics I got and how much money I got. So in total, that took me 12 minutes to do a run um, solo. In total, I started on 12 gold 93 and finished on 13 81. So that's like 88 silver just from a run of drops. And in total, I got nine heroic items. Um, obviously, there were some blues, um, but I literally just sold them straight away. Um, uh, but that hasn't contributed to the money that I'm on about now. I got 80, 88 silver from just coin drops. Um, so obviously, there was that money from the elite items as well. And there's now nine heroic items um, for me either to sell in the auction house or um, temper down to get some um, sort of uh, tempering stones so actually I think I'm just gonna quickly do that now I'm gonna spend basically I'm just gonna spend the money that I bought or that I got 
And the good thing is, the gear is level 15, so you only have to buy a level 20 extractor, not a level 30, saving yourself 40 silver. So if we buy, um, if we buy four, then that is the money. Then that's all of the money we got from the dungeon. And then let's just have a look at what grades. So yeah, 75 elite, 80 elite, 85 elite, and finally 75 elite. So that was a minimum of level 75 um, tempering stones there, which is really good. Like I said, it roughly it roughly goes from 60 to 85. So don't don't get annoyed if you get anything below what I just got there. But there's still four more. Um, I think I might sell some of those. On the anyway, guys, yeah, like I said, that was my. Um, end game guide to making gold in Riders of Icarus. Unfortunately, um, you can only um, run this 10 times a day and there is a 45 minute cooldown between runs, which is kind of annoying. Um, but if you know you're gonna be on like all day, um, or you can just do a run, then have a little break, come back, do another little run, have another break. Um, but yeah, you can do this 10 times a day, but if you really want, so it's only three Ellens to reset the dungeon time. So if you're a bit limited for time and you, you can like, quickly earn it and you get the achievement for running dungeon of the day um and that that is a dungeon of the day it was today anyway so that gives me an ellen so that's pretty cool so i'm sort of earning money or earning ellens towards resetting it so i don't have to wait all that time so you, it sort of helps you out so you don't have to wait as long but yeah anyways um that is my gold making guide um that is one way i found to be really useful um if you guys did enjoy this video um, and would like another one i can sure research do some research and try and find another alternative but if you did enjoy this video please feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe subscribe to the channel for more um riders of icarus videos in the future and i'm sure i will see you again really soon